do not understand why the question when dating is always can you cook is if that's the only thing a woman can and should know how to do i'm about to start asking these men can you fix a leak do you know how to change a flat tire do you know how to build a house sir can you grill so many black men in the comment section saying oh you have all these high demands but what do you bring to the table good question studies have shown that black women are the highest paid and the most educated I myself graduated with my associate's degree at 18 and graduated from college with my bachelor's at 20 with a degree in communication sciences with an emphasis in speech and language pathology. I live on my own, have my own car, make about 70,000 a year and don't have any kids. So I'll never ask for what I can't offer. And as far as what I'm bringing to the table, I bring me and you can't sit with us. All right, Shalom. Um, Shalom. First and foremost, and give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah by Hashem, Kakwarash. Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, who the word that calls God. And his name in the Hebrew means he exists. And Yahweh Shah's name is the only begotten Son, who the word that calls Jesus Christ. And his name in the Hebrew means he delivers. But Hashem is in the name of Kakwarash, the Holy Spirit. I want to give double honor to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone who do well. Peace and blessings to the share arguments pushing forward in the truth. Go to four corners of the earth. I want to say shalom to your brother. Keep pushing. And a double shalom to those who actually look like the other nations. And to share with you. I want to say shalom to your brothers and sisters as well. My name is Dalva Dalva from GMS Line of St. Louis Camp. And I'm coming back out of another video. So yeah, this video was uh, circulating. Um, see, that's the brother from the main camp. I'm Juan Kapoor. And just had to, um, you know, land back off your video, brother. You know, not trying to, you know, steal your video or nothing. But because I actually went to the lady channel and I and I couldn't find it. But um, yeah, the sister went in. The name of the video is uh, Eve went in. So you know, Eve is going in on this Eve right here. You know, go and watch the video. Um. And I hey, spiritual because when I went on her channel, this, this is what I saw. So, boom. So, the name of her channel is Pink Book Lessons. So, there it is right there. None other than 144. All right. And you had uh, Facebook go down yesterday at 1144. So, that number is all over the place because that's the spirit and power. How about Shemi Arshad? That's that vibration. That's. Um, being pushed out here that frequency all right and at call you how about you are shy and lower than this sister right here if you're watching this video sister lower than that you get saved you know shit i take you <laughs> but anyway it's going to hop into some scriptures so this is a uh, second john one one the elder unto the elect lady and her children, whom I love in the truth, and not I only, but also all they that have known the truth, right? To the elect lady, you know, elect means uh, chosen, all right? Because, hey, believe it or not, hey, these, some of these women are going to be chosen and going to be saved. And the Lord got them put up, especially for us. All right, because the majority of these women that you come in contact with, they just like that other uh, nigga woman, that black lady that you've seen on the uh, screen. You know, rude, mean, talking about the table. You know, like, don't nobody care about your degree. It doesn't matter. That don't attract us, you know. Um, and you got that guy, Kevin Samuels. He talking about um, uh, feminine, cooperative, and submissive. That's what a man is looking for, beauty. All right? Can this woman help me? Because uh, that was the whole purpose of a woman from the beginning is to be a help me. I'm not looking for um, a woman that talk about, what I, I got this money, I got this and this and that and the other. But it's like, how are you uh, talking about stuff like that? And we don't even care about that. All right? That, that's not going to really help us get to the next level. Like you, okay, that's all fine and dandy. Yeah, we need those things to survive. But at the end of the day, it's not going to really help our situation because you already know she sounds like a selfish you-know-what. I'm going to keep it clean in this video. But, yeah, like, 
and then she brag about all that money, but then she won't even she don't even want to wouldn't even want to spend her money. She want you to spend all your money. You know, I dealt with a few women like that before in my lifetime, and they they they, they the worst thing ever. It's like you dealing with a prostitute. You know, it's like you just paying her to be there. Verse two, for the true sake, which dwelleth in us, and shall be with us forever. Grace be unto you, mercy and peace from the God, the Father, and from the Lord, Yahweh Mashiach, the Son of the Father, in truth and love. I rejoice greatly that I found of thy children walking in truth, as we have received a commandment from the Father. And now I beseech thee, lady, not as though I wrote a new commandment unto thee, but that which we have from the beginning, that we love one another. And this is love that we walk out his commandments. And this is the commandment. That as ye have heard from the beginning, and ye should walk in it. Right. And so what is the uh, commandment if you're a woman? Um, you Got to submit yourself to your husband. You know, and uh, he shall rule over thee. All right. So you got to submit, you know, uh, subject means under rule. So that is, a, that is a commandment if you are a woman in the truth is to be under the rule of a man under the Lord. Or whatever man that Yahweh Shemiah shall put you with. And he probably going to get saved through you if you were part of the elect. So let's go over here to Zechariah. Zechariah 13 and 8. And it reads, And it shall come to pass, and in all the land, save the Lord, Two parts therein shall be cut off and die, and a third shall be left therein. And I will bring the third part through the fire, and will refine them as silver is refined, and will try them as gold is tried, and they shall call on my name, and I will hear them. I will say, It is my people, and they shall say, The Lord is my God, right? So two parts of the land shall be cut off, right? So two parts of you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans will get cut off. And guess what? It is 66%. And a majority of our nation is women Because you women outnumber men Because the Lord naturally made More women than men Meaning what? A man can naturally have more than one woman Alright? But the majority of you two thirds That's going to die Are women That uh, Man that woman that you saw in the, Which you can't even really call her a woman But that female in the uh, screen that you saw, man, she ain't gonna make it. She gonna die a horrible death. Probably gonna get raped and starved out and hit with missiles all in the same um, judgment. You know, cause hey, you women, man, shit, this pride is ridiculous. It's it's ridiculous. You know, and if you can really see it, it's really a crowd for help. It's um, you know, like the Lord got those blinders on them. See, she, she she don't have a man, and she been getting ran through for the last, however however old the bitch is, <laughs> but uh, she making these videos because she want attention. You know, she's saying all like basically, yeah. I, since I have all this stuff, that means I deserve a man. This, how about you try to humble yourself? How about you come the right way? You know, cause I, yeah, you. These women out here are straight bug outs. Bug outs. They just don't get it. So that's why they ain't that's why they don't get God. First Timothy five and fourteen. I would therefore that the younger women marry, bear children, guide the house, give none occasion to the adversary to speak reproachfully, right? So the adversary even Esau Edom, you got the white woman talking about you, um, Black women and Hispanic women and Native American women. You know, it was like a video that the that a brother posted and was asking this Edomite woman is asking the white man, "Hey, the black woman is out of order. Why don't you put her in order?" Hey, we doing that right now. And majority of them ain't gonna get in order. They just gonna have to just um, get put to death, right? Because they don't want to get down with the program. So this is uh, verse fifteen. But some are already turned after Satan, right? So some are already turned after Satan. 
you know? And the majority of our women turned out to Satan, you know? Even these women in these harlot houses. And they the biggest whores, biggest freaks, biggest uh, lesbians, biggest crab leg eaters, bondable food eaters, all that. Adulterers. Or I should or I should say adulteresses. Alright. So yeah. The majority of you women, you're not gonna make it. So this is uh Second Timothy two and we'll start at fourteen. Started at uh, 13. For Adam was first formed in Eve. And Adam was not deceived, but the woman being deceived was in the transgression. Notwithstanding, she shall be saved in childbearing. If they continue, keyword, continue, in faith and charity and holiness with sobriety. Right. And even after all that, hey, you women, you still proud. You still arrogant. You even got um, our women that even know that they're Israelites. It's talking shit. I don't claim that I'm a Hebrew Israelite. Uh, I am a black Jew. I am I am not affiliated. I am um I am the woman of Revelation the twelfth chapter, the woman, you know, I am the bride of Christ. You know, bitch, first off, just talking about the nation of Israel. That's a metaphor, you dumbass. Alright. And second of all, you ain't shit. You just some nigga woman. Bugged out nigga woman to know that she a Israelite with a low self esteem is trying to just trying to boost herself up because she can't take correction from her own man. And that's what it all boils down to, you know. Uh, hey, these Edomites say they getting cut with these words, and you nigga woman that sided with the devil Esau, y'all getting get y'all asses cut up too. Even by these worldly dudes, Kevin Simmons be wrecking y'all hoes. All right. But they still call in anyway. Titus 2 and 1. But speak thou the things which become sound doctrine, that the aged man be sober, grave, temperate, sound in faith, and charity, and patience. And the aged woman likewise. And if I can just say real, real quick. All right, so sober, grave, temperate. Sound and faith, charity, and, and um, patience. So it always get on the man first. Because it starts with us. All right? Because it started with the men. It didn't start with you women. And it says, the aged woman likewise, and you, you too, that they be in behavior as becoming holiness, not false accusers, not giving too much wine, teachers of good things, that they teach the young men to be sober, to love their husbands, to love their children, to be discreet, chaste keepers at home, obedient to their own husbands, that the word of the Most High be not blasphemed. Right. So the word of the Most High be not blasphemed. You know? And how many people done watched that, that nigga woman's video and like, mm-hmm, girl, go ahead, tell them. You know? And guess what? That psychopath got followers. You know? So, yeah. And hey, you making the um, you making the Lord look bad when you do that shit. Making us all look bad. Out of order, cause when the nigga woman out of order, hey, hey, she take it to the next level. Get in your face, talk shit, talk all the shit, spit on you, hit you. Um. Uh, dis disrespect the Lord, everything. And you don't even see these Edomite women doing shit like that. We just see our women doing that. Yeah, it, hey, but the Lord going to save some of our women, you know. Let's go to Isaiah 1 and 3. The ox knoweth his owner and the ass his master's crib. But Israel does not know. My people does not consider. Right. 
Because they don't consider the words that we saying is the truth. Matter of fact, they they know it's the truth, but they don't want it to be true. Because hey, it's evident that the words that we speak in are true. You know, and you people, y'all are really in denial. Verse 4, a sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity, a seed of evildoers, children that are corruptors. They have forsaken the Lord. They have provoked the Holy One of Israel into anger. A anger. They are gone away backward. Why should you be stricken anymore? You will revolt more and more. The, head, the whole head is sick. The whole heart is faint. Right. So Judah is the head. So we sick. So that means the rest of the tribes is sick. So, you know. So the Lord is asking, hey, why should I hit you more? You know. Me hitting you, that's supposed to correct you. But you just keep finding ways and keep finding loopholes to be proud. You keep turning a blind eye to my prophets. You keep disrespecting my prophets. You keep talking shit and running your mouth. So, hey, I, I have no choice but to kill your ass. And, hey, and that's good for you two-thirds. Because look at how you act shit. Y'all niggas deserve it. Especially you damn two-third bitches. Y'all most definitely deserve it. Because, uh, man, you millennial black women, y'all are the wickedest, the most wickedest um, group of women that ever existed in the history of mankind. All right? And, and you know, and I ain't saying that just to bash women, but I'm just saying it just, it's just factual. Because I've, Dealt with you. I, I know from experience. It's not even a... It's not even a blanket statement. It's just facts. <laughs> just facts. It's big fact. Big facts. Isaiah 32 and 1. Behold, a king shall reign in righteousness, and princes shall rule in judgment. And a man shall be as a hiding place from the wind, and a covert from the tempest, as rivers of waters in a dry place, as the shadow of a great rock in a weary land. Right. So it says a man shall be as a hiding place. And it's not talking about any old man. It's talking about an elect man. Right. Because the Lord says he's going to make us as precious as fine gold. And he's doing that right now with the heat. He uh, purging us of that dross and that impurities that's on our spirit. And he's making us perfect. So when we see those new bodies, you know, we going to deserve them. Because he's going to see fit that we deserve them. Because like, the Lord ain't going to put no uh, no pussy beggars or no mama's boys or no uh, simps, beta males in those bodies. All right, so the Lord is showing you now how to move and how to conduct yourself as a man. You know, he's showing you how wicked these women are that you ain't supposed to put them up, up on the pedestal. So you, you got to take heed to the um, to the warning, you know. And 32 and 9. Rise up, you women that are at ease. Hear my voice, you careless daughters. Give ear to my speech. Many days and years shall be troubled, ye careless women, for the vengeance shall fail, the gathering shall not come. And so the gathering shall not come. Yeah, uh, five to ten years from now, I'm finna go to college, you know. Yeah, I got stuff to do. Um, yeah, I don't need to be tied down. I'm finna go get an abortion. I don't, I don't need no baby right now. Uh, I didn't tell that dude to uh, ejaculate in me. You know, this, this type of shit that goes on amongst our women. Just completely, totally out of order. Completely, totally out of order. All the way left. Went all the way left. And some of y'all ain't coming back. Y'all gonna be destroyed. Verse 11. Tremble ye women that are at ease. Be troubled, ye careless ones. Strip you and make you bare and gird sackcloth upon your loins, right? So tremble ye women that are at ease. You now so hey, be scared. You know, you should definitely be scared if you left a man in the Lord or... If um, you just a regular woman, <laughs> like you don't see what the hell going on, so you in you in straight denial if you don't see what the hell going on. 
You in straight denial. And you deserve everything that happened to you. If you don't want to take heed to the warning. You know, hey, so repent. So I'm going to close it out. Call the Yahweh Shemi Ashraba Shemi Kakarash. I hope those edifying. Shalom in the Bible ball.